Welcome back. In this video, we are going to create the file structure for our project. And this is to make sure that we have a code that is well organized and maintainable. So I'm going to create all the source files for the sections and the components. So on the SSS folder, I'm going to create the two folders. So the first folder, I'm going to keep all the source files for the sections. And the second folder, I'm going to keep all the source files for the components. Things like buttons, make sense, and animations, and so much more. So let's start with the first folder, which is the sections folder. So inside the SSS folder, we have the sections. And another folder also inside the SSS folder. And this one, you're going to keep all the SAS files for the components. So let's start by creating the SAS files for the components. And I am going to start with the first one, which is the button. So a partial underscore buttons.sss. So we're going to keep all the code for the buttons on that file. Another file or another component file. And this one we're going to keep all the animations. So underscore animations dot SSS. another file or another component file and this one we're going to keep all the mixins so underscore mixins.scss Also another SAS file or another component file. And this one you're going to keep all the typography. So underscore typography. Dot SSS. So I think we are done with the components. Let's create the SAS files for the sections. So the first section is the navbar. Again, underscore navbar dot SSS. So that is our first section of the layout. So let's see the second section, which is the intro section. So underscore intro section dot SCSS. Let's see the third one. So the third one, we have this section for the trusted by companies like. So I'm going to call it companies. So we have underscore companies dot SSS. So we have the fourth section, which is the our services or the services section. Underscore services dot SSS. So another section, which is the testimonials so underscore testimonials dot SCSS. another section which is the frequently asked questions so again underscore FAQ dot SCSS. Another section, which is the latest work, I'm going to call it portfolio. Underscore portfolio. Dot SCSS. Another section, which is the CTA section, I'm going to call it get started. So underscore get started dot SCSS. And finally, we have the last section, which is the footer. Underscore footer dot SCSS. 
So the next step now is to import these partials to our main SAS file, which is the style.scss. So here I'm going to start with the components and I'm going to write a comment first, which is import the components. So we have the use art rule and then the components folder. And then you're going to start with the animations and then close it. And then I'm going to duplicate three times. So we have the second component, which is the buttons and then the third one which is the make sense and then we have the fourth one which is the typography so let's do the same for the sections comment first so import the sections so again the use art rule and then we have the sections folder. So we're going to start with the navbar, which is the first section of our layout. And then I'm going to close that and then duplicate eight times to total to nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the second section, you're going to import the intro section we have the third section, which is the companies. The fourth one, which is the services. We have the fifth, fifth section, which is the testimonials. Then we have the next section, which is So we have the frequently asked questions. And then the next section, which is the portfolio. The next one is the get started. And finally, we have the last one, which is the footer. So I'm going to save that file. So now this file is going to import all these partials with the code and we are done with that part.